So, Kurt, why do people give advocates the other A name? I've never been called an apple. Um, (laughs) That's a great name. Um, Quite honestly, sometimes it's earned. Uh, One of the problems with a non-licensed, certified, unregulated area such as advocacy is we we get people that embarrass us, quite frankly. We have people that have no business being in there. Uh, If you have no training, no education, no background, you have one kid and uh, now you're going to be an advocate and take money, you know, buyer beware, guys, do your research. But two, advocates, we don't like being challenged in the schools. We, We have had so much authority for so long and we wield such a big stick and we know it. I mean, go to the school board and try and get them to do something they don't want to do. Not going to happen. And that's why we resent special ed law, because it forces us to do things we don't want. And it takes that power away. And when I walk in for the first time at a meeting and it's 14 to 1 and it's mom alone, the energy is palpable. And the power, the authority, after about an hour, it's gone. Because I don't care how many people you bring to the, to the knife fight, if I've got an Uzi, I win. And the Uzi is the law. 